Hotel minus nine minutes. Following personnel, report ready to proceed with countdown and remain on channel one. ACC? Ready. ATC 2? Ready. ATC 3? Ready. EEA? Ready. ESYS? Ready. FMA? Ready. SYS? Ready. TM1? Ready. TM2? Ready. MEA? Ready. PEA? Ready. Prop 1? Ready. STC? Ready. Prop 2? Ready. RC? Ready. SSC? Ready. SSP? Ready. FSC? Ready. GE? Ready. HYE? Ready. VE? Ready. VP? Ready. VSE? Ready. SCM? Ready. MCE? Ready. Launch Director. LD's ready. Post launch securing will be conducted on Channel 5. Flight data will be reported real time on Channel 2. Falling personnel switch to Channel 5 after liftoff is confirmed for pad securing. Launch Conductor Prop 1, ATC 2, Prop 2, SSP, OSM, SSC, Talker, FSC, and ATC 3. All personnel of condition that exceeds a launch constraint is observed during the final four minutes. The observer shall call a hold on the launch ops net channel one, as directed by the console operator's memo. There are no expected or allowable alarms after T minus 60 seconds. All personnel remain on channel one until after launch. In the event of a hold after T minus four minutes, recycle steps will begin in Appendix K. Appendix K is the yellow pages. Prevent the possibility of hang fire personnel with launch enable switches are instructed not to switch launch enable to off or open after T minus four seconds. In case of engine cutoff or no vehicle liftoff by T plus five seconds, recycle and safing will be performed for Appendix L. Appendix L is the red pages. SSC calibrate third stage telemetry two minutes prior to picking up the count. Roger. This is the AFLC with the final status check. Report go, no go to resume countdown for launch. LCDR. Go. RCO. Go. MIFCO. Go. LWO. Go. OSM. Go. AFQA. AFQA, go. SOC. Go. BOC. Go. Back. Back or go. AFLD. Go. 90 seconds. SSC, hydraulic external power to on. External. Seconds. RCO report range go for launch. RCO range go for launch. Seal CDR go for launch. Roger. T minus 70, 70 seconds, seconds and counting. SSC, Just over a minute from launch, and the rocket, Colonel. spacecraft, and ground systems all look good at this point. 60 seconds. LCDR countdown limit conditions. T minus 60 seconds to on. On. Forty-five seconds. CLCDR set launch enable seventeen. Flight. 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 ATC three. Main power disable on. On. Thirty-five seconds. Hydraulics go. Thirty seconds. T minus twenty-five seconds. Twenty seconds. 15 seconds. Stop and go. 13 seconds. Green board. T minus 10. 10 9, 9, 8, 8 7, 7, 6, 6 5, 4, 3, 3 2, two, 1. Zero. We Good have point. liftoff. Liftoff of the United five, Launch Alliance security. Delta II rocket carrying GPS 2R20 for the United States Air Force. The global positioning nine, system serves the U.S. military. America's transportation system, and civilian users around the world. Reaching steady state levels in the chamber pressures. Recovering now from the main engine and burner engine uh, initial launch transients. We are listening to Steve Agate in the telemetry lab, in. calling out the flight data in real time. Seconds. Now at Mach 1, vehicle's now going transonic. Good steady state uh, main engine chamber pressure. Where we want it to be, 45 seconds. The pressure on the uh, six solids beginning to drop off. Goodbye for them to burn out. Standing by for step. Zero eight colon three four. Yep, 
separation of the solids. We have ignition of the three airlet solids. Three airlet solids now coming up in chamber pressure. One minute, 20 seconds into the flight. Felt the vehicle now only weighs half of what it did at launch, expelling propellant at the rate of 2,200 pounds per second. One minute, 33 seconds in. Altitude now 14.8 nautical miles. Downrange distance 32.7 nautical miles. And our velocity 3,243 miles per hour. Good steady state uh, main engine and burner engine chamber pressures. One minute, 50 seconds in. About 20 seconds now remain uh, for the three airlet solid motors. Chamber pressures on those three airlet motors now beginning to decline. Standing by for separation of three airlet motors in about five seconds. And we have separation. Good separation of the three airlet motors. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Altitude now 28.8 nautical miles, downrange distance 75.1 nautical miles, a velocity 5,366 miles per hour. Two minutes, 35 seconds. We have a good engine control, main engine pitch and yaw steering is very stable at this time. Bernie, your engine pitch and yaw control, very, very good. This is Delta Mission Control at approximately three minutes into the Delta II launch of GPS 2R20. And at this point, the flight is nominal. And in, in another minute or so, we will have Miko, our main engine cutoff. Then we'll see first and second stage separation and second stage ignition. Approximately 20 seconds later, the protective fairing around the satellite will separate from the vehicle, leaving stages two and three and the GPS spacecraft to continue on with the mission. Three minutes, 25 seconds into the flight. Altitude now 44.5 nautical miles. Downrange distance 177.2 nautical miles. Our velocity 8,479 miles per hour. Less than one minute until main engine cutoff. I got a 0834. <laughs> Didn't get the rest of it. Oh, okay. I'll give you the rest. It's 0834 colon 00.244. Up on four minutes. Mark, four minutes into the flight, altitude 52.1 nautical miles, downrange distance 252 nautical miles, velocity 11,010 miles per hour. Coming up on four minutes, 10 seconds, standing by for Miko, about 10 seconds from now. Standing by for that main engine chamber pressure to drop. We have Miko. 